G'day all you VYVZ operators. Um, today I want to talk to you about bleeding the brakes. Um, because this car sits around a bit, uh, I had a bit of a problem where the clutch wasn't working properly. So I had to put new fluid in that. And um, I decided to check the brake fluid. I've got a little tester, a little pen tester thing. And uh, it was rotten. So what I've done is I've sucked the fluid out of this and we're going to pull some new fluid through this thing. I've got one of those air bleeders, but you can do it the old way if you want to. Or these are very cheap to buy. This is what I used. It's a trigger one, not an air one. I mean, you can bleed the brakes with this quite easily. It's got a little container there and uh, works quite well. It sucked out the... Um, it sucked out the fluid and at the moment I'm attempting to bleed the clutch from up here in the reservoir with this fitting but I've got to get a solid um, elbow fitting for it to work properly this is too flexible so um, I'm gonna go down super cheap tomorrow they sell these plastic elbows that are solid and then I'll be able this fits into the little hole in the bottom of the reservoir and you just slowly pull the trigger and you you pull out the air it's better than getting under the car because I've, I've got an extendable bleeder for it but just to get the old one out and put the extendable bleeder in it's a bit of a muck, mucking around so i won't do that and the clutch is actually working now but i'm still not happy with it i reckon it might have air in it somewhere and i want to get all the fluid out i can so so for now this is empty and I'm going to put some fluid in here and then I've got a bottle I'll show you just give me a sec I'll show you this bottle I've already so I've already put fluid in it it's got new fluid in it and what that does is it's got a tap on it there as you can see and this sits upside down you clip it into this and you can add fluid or I'm, I'm going to see if I can just leave it on without it overflowing if it starts to overflow I'm just going to have to come back here and just turn it on but I think the idea is you're supposed to just be able to clip, put these in and leave the tap on and keep pulling your fluid through so I'm going to try it um, but I'll fill it up first I'll fill it and then I'll clip this in and see if it's going to keep overflowing. So I'll get that set up and we'll come back. Okay, so this is the setup. I put some fluid in here. I've set the bottle up and opened the tap. It sort of drained a bit more in there, but it's stopped now. So it looks, looks like it's not going to overflow, which is good. I put towel around it before just to make sure. But I've never used one of these before, so it's looking pretty good. As I drain it out, this will fill it up again. So I'm going to go down to the left hand rear now. And um, we'll start there and I'll show you the bleeder. Okay. So this is the hose. And all I've done is hook that up to the bleeder. It's got a rubber fitting. You just push that onto the bleeder. But like I said, if, if you don't have this, you can just do it the normal way. I'll just give you a quick look. This is the actual bleeder. It's just a. Uh, I haven't looked the air up to it yet. We just pull a trigger. So I did use the bleeder on the red ute. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't want to face that way. We want to face this way. I've got a new magnetic mount so I can film this stuff a bit better, which is. Um, seems to be pretty good so what I'm going to do now is I'll put that on and I'll have a 10 mil open ender so what I'll do if I can do this without knocking the camera ass overhead again is open the bleeder and I'm going to turn this down you just got to be careful that doesn't come off that's all and somehow I've got to work out 
So I'm thinking, oh, I always do these things, and I think, no, nah, I don't need to jack the car up, but I really do. But it's too late now. You can get to, I, I can get to the bleeders, but just when you're filming something like this, it's pretty hard. Okay, so it'd be nice if I turn the air on. Be back in a sec. Right, I don't know if you can hear that, but the air's pissing me out of this thing, so what I'm going to do is pull the trigger. Getting a lot of air out. I'm just trying to drag the new fluid through. getting a lot at the moment I think I'm gonna um I'm gonna try and open the valve a bit more it's probably not open enough I knew that had happened well it's definitely fluid there so I might open it that's better That's a bit better. Let's try again. That's better. Still not getting a... Uh... I've got a bit of fluid out. I'm going to try and drag a bit more through. doesn't seem to be dragging a hell of a lot through so of course I've lost my spanner now it's pretty hard to set this up I should have really jacked this car up um, but the spanner's gone walkabout of course all right hang on I've got to find my spanner all right I don't know if you can see that but it's it's mainly dragging clean stuff out now. I've got a bit in the bottle here, so everything in the hose looks clean, so... I'll just close that off. Let's 
closed off. Take that off. Of course, I didn't bring a rag. I'll give that a wipe. And um, we'll go to the other side. But I'm not going to film all this. I just want to make a short video. I always make them too long. So I'm going to do the other three wheels. And we'll come back. Right, uh, she's all done. I bled all four corners. Didn't really drag a lot of fluid through. Reservoir is full. So, that'll do me. Everything's clean. Everything's clean coming out of all four wheels, so. They're a bit funny to use those, um, those things. I'm just gonna make sure. Just not sure. I don't think that's put any fluid in, so I'm going to tip some in. I don't think it's good enough. I don't think the little bottle worked, actually. I think I might have to start again. So I'm going to see if I've got any brakes or whether I've just made it worse. Okay, so I've just made it worse. So I'm going to have to start again, do the whole thing again. Okay, it's probably not a bad thing that failed. I'm going to go and do it again because this is the fluid that come out of it. So it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Might reuse that. Just um, throw a bit of water in it and put it back in. Anyway, I'm going to go around and um, bleed them all again. I've put another end. I've put a smaller end because that other one was too big. And I'll see what I can drag through this time, but... You get the general idea. I won't film the bleeding part anymore because, like I said, you can use this one. I've got another smaller one somewhere, which I can't find at the moment. Um, and it worked really well. And this one seemed to work until it ran out of fluid. And that bottle is supposed to replenish it, but I don't know. It's, there's some sort of float in there and it's up against the float and it didn't put any fluid back in, so... That was the problem, but I'm going to bleed these again, and uh, we'll come back and I'll let you know how I go. Okay, um, this is where I am. I had the bottle set up wrong, so I'll show you. I had this little plastic thing around the wrong way, but that shouldn't have really mattered. It should have still filled up, but um, it goes that way. I had it upside down. But it shouldn't have really mattered. It should have still filled up the reservoir. So I've sorted that out. The instructions I got with the bleeder, which is this one. Hang on. I don't know if I can. Hang on. There we go. So that's what I'm trying to use. And I've got another smaller one, which I would rather use, but I cannot find it. But um, anyway, take positives out of disasters. So... Uh, <laughs> The good thing is, it's dragged all the old fluid out, and I'm actually pulling better fluid through. I'll sh just have, I don't know if I can get this off with one end. Just bear with me. And I'll I'll show you the last lot of fluid I've got out. Hang on. I'll better pause this, hang on. Okay, so that's what's come out. It's still a bit dirty. So I'm gonna keep going. Um, but it's one of these things where I don't know if this thing is actually working properly because it doesn't, it's always got air bubbles in it, but it did on the red car too and it worked. It actually bled the brake. So, but when you drag and like, I thought it should fill up with just solid fluid when there was no air, but it seems to always have bits and pieces of fluid coming through the hose. Um, so I don't really care as long as it bleeds the brake. So I'm going to keep going because 
that's not great the stuff I'm putting in is, is clear so until I get clear fluid I'm just going to keep going anyway we'll come back when I've done that and um, I'll let you know what happened eh? okay it's the next day I'm gonna have another go at this bleeding um, I have the bottle set up correctly as far as I know so I need you blokes to give me a hand I'm gonna leave you here and you tell me if this level moves and I'm gonna go and bleed the left hand rear brake Okay, I don't reckon, yeah, it's just moved a bit. Alright, I might have to up the air pressure a bit and have another go. Righto, what's the verdict people? Did it move? It's yeah, it's just taken some more in now. Okay, yeah, that's a fair bit. The stuff coming out the back now is um very clear. I'm gonna give this one more shot. I'll just turn this off because I want to um just check inside yeah that's full I want to make sure I mean what happened yesterday wasn't a bad thing I ended up sucking it dry because I didn't have this bottle set up properly but um it got all the dirty stuff out so now everything's coming out clear so I'll give this one more go then I'll move to the other side
Okay. Yeah, I'll put some more in. I've just got to lift the bottle up a bit to get it to go in. I don't even mind if it's over full a bit. Definitely pulling through some crystal clear fluid now. So, okay, I'm going to move to the other side. And um, I'll do the back. It's really just doing all four wheels now. So I don't want to make a long drawn out video. So I'm going to stop this here and we'll come back when I've done it. And I'll let you know how I went. Okay, all done. Nice hard brake pedal. Reservoir's full. The old bottle there. She worked unreal this time. When you set it up properly, it's amazing what happens when you set it up properly. Yeah, it worked really good. Um, the bleeder. Dunno. I'm not 100% sold on these things. Um, it did work. And if you're on your own, it's good. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I think if you've got a mate, you can do just as good a job just the old way. Just blow them through. It might take you a, a bit longer to pull fluid through if you empty the whole system. But if you're not an idiot like me and you don't empty your reservoir, what you do is you suck out all the old stuff, right? So you'll probably need the trigger one. Like I showed you yesterday, they're very cheap to buy. Um, and you can empty your reservoir, fill it up with clean stuff, and you can just do it the old way and pump it through. But if you've got one of these air bleeders, you do it like that too. So now the clutch, I wanted to show you the clutch, but I haven't got the right fittings. Um, you, put, you can't see anything, but there's a hole, you know, let's see where this hose comes out at the back. And you've got to get this little rubber thing in there. And I've been trying to find an elbow fitting, which I think I got today. Um, and you can bleed them from the top. I see quite a few videos where blokes are bleeding them from the top. And I've had a go at this one, and I think I've just about got it without going underneath. Although I've got the car up on stands at the moment to go underneath. And I'm um and ahhing about putting the external bleeder on it. But... Um, I just really don't like touching anything that's, if it's original, I like to leave it. So you can bleed them from the top. So um, not really worth making a video on that. So hang on, I'll turn it around so I can talk to you. Um, I won't make a video on that. But I just thought I'd do this one on the brake bleeding because I had to change the fluid. And if you do a fluid change, this is what you've got to do. You've got to empty your reservoir and drag some new fluid through. So everything now look, um, is clear, it's clear fluid. Um, what happened yesterday was actually a blessing in disguise because I'd run it dry and I'd dragged all the fluid out of it and I'd got the shits and went, oh, you idiot, you know. Um, I'm just going to have to sort of dose myself in bloody honey and let some bees gnaw at me for a while for punishment. But... Um, in the end, it worked out really good. So, I know I can cancel the honey order. So, okay, um, look after yourselves. Thank you very much for, if you're watching this. Um, yeah, I know there's people out there that think I'm rough as guts and I'm an idiot. Well, that's fine because you put yourself out on YouTube. You've got to expect that. So, but um, if there's a lot of you who leave me really good comments and it, and it, um, eggs me on I it just I want to make more when I read comments like that I want to keep doing it and then every now and again I'll get one that's sort of not that great and I think oh yeah maybe I shouldn't be doing this but no nah, I'm gonna keep going because like I said if I make a mistake I'm not gonna edit it out I'm gonna show you so you don't make the same mistake because I do make a lot of mistakes I'm only human and I'm a silly old bloke now so I gotta I got a good excuse. Anyway, thank you everyone for subscribing. The channel's going really well for a little channel. It's just going unreal. So um, thank you all very much. And for being patient and watching these videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.